What is up guys and welcome to another edition of the Market Marauder Show. Hope everybody is having a great week out there. I hope everybody is able to lock in some profits. Uh, so, and everybody's staying safe out there. Hope everybody is safe uh, with the winter storms uh, that came through this week. Uh, so today I'll be giving you uh, my top penny stocks. So let's jump into it. First one on the list, we have ticker sign WATT. Um, we can see that they had a week high of seven dollars and sixty nine cents. Uh, they ended the week at seven dollars and twenty three cents, and then after hours went down to six twenty. Uh, overall, still bullish though. Moving average ten is above fifty and one hundred, and VWAP is above moving average ten. So positive on both of those metrics. Um, gonna go to some background information on them. So they just announced that they're gonna be releasing their fourth quarter um, financial results. Uh, and their full year 2020 results. So this is going to be on Feb uh, February 25th, so next Thursday. Um, going to be a lot of good information coming from them. Uh, I encourage everybody to go listen to uh, these. Now, if you're looking for this article, um, it is. I just Googled uh, the company's name. It'll be ir.energous.com uh, -E slash press releases. Um, and then you can find this one. It has the call-in number where you can call in uh, the different code that you have to dial in uh, as well, uh, where you can listen to this earnings. And earnings is a great way uh, for you to get a lot of good information. They will pre release a press release afterwards. So if you're completely new to earnings, you haven't listened to a company's earnings ever, they will give a press release uh, afterwards, summing up all the stuff that they talked about. Uh, but it's good to still listen to it because sometimes they'll have investors will call in and ask questions, which... They'll answer those questions, but they don't release those questions in the press releases. So you can get a little bit of extra information uh, from listening to uh, the calls when they come on. So with that being said, uh, and their earnings coming up, um, my price target for them uh, is going to be $7 even. Uh, now they did fall down to six dollars and twenty cents, uh, but I think seven dollars even is a realistic uh, level that can come back from after falling down to the six twenty level. Um, now they did end at seven twenty three and went all the way down to six twenty, uh, but I think you know seven dollars even is a realistic for them to bounce back up um, to get to. So next on here we have ticker sign VCNX. Uh, we can see they had a week high of nine dollars and fifty six cents, so pretty high for them. Um, they ended the week at forty eight. Then after hours went up eight cents to end at four ninety six. They are still bullish. Moving average ten is above fifty to one hundred, and VWAP is above moving average ten. Uh, now bear in mind this from the perspective of Webull. So if you like to sign up for Webull and get two free stocks when you deposit hundred dollars or more, I have a link down below in the description where you can do so. You don't have to sign up for Webull in order to be able to look at the charts, though. Uh, you can just go on Webull.com and then click the Trade tab at the top, and you can pull up the charts. So that's the beauty of Webull. But um, on the chart, I'm using the 30-minute chart. I do have the moving average 10, 50, and 100. And then I also have VWAP. And all those can be found in this little Indicators tab right here. Um, and you can make them whatever color you want. So... Just bear that in mind, if you're using any other interval than the 30 minute, your chart will look a little different. Uh, but anyway, going back to this one, uh, they did end at 496. Uh, background information on them. <clears throat> this article came out on the 19th, so pretty fresh information. Uh, so it says, Vaccinex announcing signing of two multi-project deals with leading pharmaceutical companies focused on leveraging its active, or yeah, active MAB platform. Um, so I think this is pretty good news for them. Um, you know, it will help the company expand. Um, and I think, you know, in general, it'll bring lots of money, uh, to the company. So I'm going to be looking to see some more press releases on, uh, what those, what that deal consists of and how that will actually affect, um, their earnings and how much capital they're getting from this different, uh, from this active MAB system. Uh, so definitely gonna be looking for some more updates on this one, but I think they have a pretty good um, outlook for their future, especially signing uh, these deals with these two major leading pharmaceutical companies. And as you know, the pharmaceutical company in the current market is like on fire. Uh, you know, you got Moderna, Pfizer, uh, Johnson & Johnson, Inovio, 
Uh, you can just, the list goes on and on with all these companies involved around the vaccine, as well as pharmaceutical companies in general have just been doing well uh, since the pandemic uh, started off. So um, I think, you know, it will yield profitable for this company to partner with, um, you know, two major companies um, and definitely help them uh, overall. So with that being said, I have a price target for them of $7. I think $7 is kind of a realistic level for this to get back to. Um, you know, it's not all the way at the $9.50 level, but I think $7 is kind of realistic uh, for them to jump back to. Uh, so next we have Tickerson CX, CTRX or CTXR, uh, excuse me, CTXR. Uh, so they had a week high of $2.16 and at the week at $2.06. And then after hours went up five more since in at 211. Uh, overall, they are bullish. Moon average 10 is above 15100. VWAP is below moon average 10 though, uh, so maybe some more sideways oscillation between this range. Uh, so I would say probably between this range right here of 208 to 196, uh, maybe some more oscillation between that range until we can see it break back out. But overall, they did end at two dollars and eleven cents for last week. Go to some background on them, uh, just some reading some of the press releases. Uh, they did close a $76.5 million registered direct offering priced at the market under NASDAQ rules. Um, and they issued a shareholder letter uh, with corporate update on recent achievements and anticipated milestones for 2021. Uh, so I think this article is probably very good to, to read in to see what they're going to be doing in 2021. Um, and see, you know, how that will actually lead in the direction of the company and also closing of this $76.5 million uh, registered direct offering is also pretty good um, in my personal opinion. Uh, so with that being said, going into the stock and where they currently are at, uh, I have a price target of them for $2.30. So... I think two dollars and thirty cents is a realistic level, and I think um, they could definitely get to that level uh, pretty soon, in my personal opinion, especially based on the trajectory that they have been currently going on. So next we have ticker sign TAOP. Uh, we can see they had a week high of nine dollars and sixty nine cents. They kind of spiked up uh, to nine dollars sixty nine cents. That was on the nineteenth, and uh, then they've kind of gone sideways or dropped down and went sideways uh, since then. Moving average 10 is above 5100, and VWAP is above moving average 10, so positive on both of my indicators uh, that I use. So I think they definitely have potential to keep going back up, even though they ended at 704 uh, for the week and then went down 34 cents in a 670. Um, I think they still do have potential to continue to go up uh, even after um, you know this fall off of 34 cents. So background information on them. Um, it says TAOP enters into consulting agreement with Great Bay Capital Investment for blockchain development. Uh, so basically, they're going to be getting into blockchain. So provide the company with business uh, development services focused on blockchain and digital assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, investment opportunities. Introduce TAOP to potential investors for strategic investment. Introduce potential M&A target in blockchain industry and assist um, TAOP in completing relevant uh, due diligence work and proposed MA plans. So I think them getting into this blockchain um, and digital asset uh, niche will definitely yield profitable for them, uh, especially considering, you know, the growth of it um, at the current moment. So blockchain uh, or Bitcoin and Ethereum seem to be the hot topic for a lot of different um you know, conversations going on now. So I think any company that's jumping into that uh, will be able to yield profitable um, as time goes on. So with that being said, um, I have a price target for them of $8. I think $8 is a realistic level to where they can get to, especially since they fell off all the way to 670 So um, I think, you know, if you get in around 670 I think it has the potential to go back up to uh, this $8 price, which is not really, you know, saying it's going to go back to this 969 uh, but I think $8 is a pretty realistic level of where it can get to. So, just bear in mind this for educational purposes. I'm not telling you what stock to invest into or not to invest into. This is just all for educational purposes. Uh, so, just bear that in mind. 
Last one here, we have ticker sign WRN for Western Copper. Uh, they had a week high of 169. Uh, they ended the week at 169 and then went up one cent after hours to end at 170. So pretty good metric for them overall. They are bullish. Moving average 10 is above 50 to 100. Uh, but VWAP is below moving average 10. So maybe some more oscillation between this range. Uh, but overall, with them having a after hours rally, even though it's only a one set rally, I still think um, they will continue to go up from this level. With that being said, going into some background on them, not really too much going on for them company-wise. Um, don't really have um, any new <clears throat> articles coming out. The last article that I saw, or let me go on here. We will click on the right year, find some new articles. Uh, so in 2021, uh, they announced uh, exploration results uh, from Casino Project in Yukon. So that came out on February 2nd. Uh, so you all can go uh, read about that one. Uh, but I think overall, the reason I have the company on here is I think copper and gold are in high demand at the current moment. Um, gold prices, I think, will continue to go up. Uh, copper is definitely in demand, um, especially, you know, for making things like pipes and bullets and uh, all sorts of things that need copper. So I think this uh, industry will see a boom and getting into companies that are doing it uh, right now that are valued at a low price um, like this company is only valued at $1.69 uh, I think by the end of 2021 we could definitely see them uh, yield more profitable I mean if you live in the south at all you'll see that um, you know bullets are flying off the shelf like crazy uh, which use copper and other metals uh, so you know the demand on those is high but the avail availability is low um, and then also with gold, uh, gold prices are, you know, continuing to go up. Uh, I think that will continue to go up as well, especially with all the fluctuation in the stock market. So I think that industry being involved in both of those things will help yield them profitable. Um, I do have a price target for them of $2, uh, but I think they can well surpass that, you know, if you're holding on to them uh, going into, you know, the end of 2021, definitely be interested to see how far up this actually goes uh, by the end of the year. So I just have a short term outlook on it. Um, and that's a $2 price range. Uh, but I definitely think that this company could far exceed that, especially if they increase their production numbers and the prices of both those assets continue to go up. So make sure you drop a comment down below. Tell me which stocks you guys are looking at for the week. Uh, make sure that thumbs up. This video is helping you. gives you some value. Uh, and make sure you guys are staying safe out there throughout these winter storms. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.